All right, so I've got Cure of 5.3.0 open already, and I'm going to use a calibration cube to show you a quick and easy color filament change or just a filament change, uh, whatever. So the thing is that 20% infill uh, is what I like to do. I like to set it up so that I have a wall line count of three because if you put it at two sometimes you can see the infill pattern on the wall and I don't want to see that infill at 20% like I mentioned. I've already set the temperatures for my material at 200 for the filament and 50 for the bed and if we travel down the build plate adhesion I'm going to be using a skirt when I like to be able to uh, test out my Z offset and see that everything is good, I use a brim, but I don't need to do that right now. So I'm going to close this up and I'm going to slice the cube and then I'm coming over here to this bar on the right hand side. I move it all the way up to 100 and I'm going to look at the cube and decide where I want to do my color change by analyzing the layers. So right now I'm at 100. I've gone to 99, 98, 97, 96, and this is where I want the Z to be the color of the body of the cube and where I want the change to take place. So I'm going to do two filament changes on this cube. So I'm going to change it at 96 and I'm going to change it at 10. And I don't need to look at it because I mean 10 is going to make a very, very thin layer down the bottom here. So. Now that it is sliced, I'm going to come up here to extensions. I'm going to go post-processing, modify G-code. I'm going to add a script and I'm going to go to filament change. So this is where I'm coming. To, and I have to do this twice. So this layer, I'm going to change it to 10. Then I come down. The initial retraction is 30 millimeters. That's where it's retracting right at the print head while it's still hovering above the cube. The later retraction distance is once the print head has gone and parked itself at the position of 0, 0, 0 for the X, Y, and Z axis. So thing is, I changed this to 400 and while it's parked, it's going to retract it and you can wait for it, but I don't like to wait. I will grab the pincers that will relieve the filament off of the gear that's driving the filament so that I can just pull it back quickly by hand. So you can change it or not, it's totally up to you. Uh, it's using the retraction method of Marlin. Don't change this. And I am not going to be enabling any G code before after. So that's it for changing at layer 10. But I also mentioned that I want to change at layer 6. So I just go and add a script here. And I'm going to come to the filament change again. And now I'm going to enter the 96 where I want to change it on the top end. And I'm going to go 400 here, even though I'm not going to use it, but that will take it completely out of the head if that's what you're interested in doing. I'm going to close this. I'm going to slice it. Now I'm going to save the file. I'll go load it into the printer and we'll start to print and I'll show you how quick and easy it is to be able to do a filament change on uh, this printer. All right, so now it's going to park itself. So now it's time for the color change. It's retracting the filament from the print head. And I like to fast track things. And basically I just grab it, I pinch it here and I'm gonna pull it out just because I wanna get this done. I wanna get on with things. So I let it go. Make sure that you've got your next filament ready to go. And I do, I'm gonna, sw I'm switching over to a black. So. I like to take it, I put the tube on here first, I've had a set of side cutters handy and I put a nice long tapered cut on it. You're going to take it, I pinch it and I always curve it ever so slightly towards me. Just I find it makes it a lot easier to get it in. So I'm already in, I'm going to push it forward, alright, I'm pushing it all the way to the print head. And now that I'm, I can feel the resistance of being at the print head, I'm going to actually push some filament through. Now, depending upon what color you're changing from to, you're going to want to push more filament. You want to make sure that you get the color out of there so that when you hit resume, that you will have cleared it and you won't mess up your print. 
I also like to keep a set of long nose pliers handy so that I can clean the tip before I press the resume button. So, so far I've discovered that you can go at least 10 minutes. It won't time out or overheat or anything. You simply are going to press this knob to get it going again. And then, like I said, I like to use the long nose needle uh, pliers because it's pushing out a little bit of filament and I'm just going to clear it before it resumes so that it don't end up with any of the excess filament flowing out onto my cube. All right, well, I've done a few of these and uh, basically look at how crisp and clean that line is between colors. It's just absolutely spectacular. You know, so the other thing is I set it up so that the Z would end up being black. That's why that layer is so thin, but pretty incredible finish on the uh, finishing line. And it's like that all the way around, you know. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and uh, a big thanks to Jason for asking me to do this because uh, I'm absolutely having a blast and I really hope that this helps. If it doesn't, hey, leave me a message uh, and I'll see if I can help out.